if you are looking for an affordable binaural in-ear microphone set with wind protection, then I hope this quick video is for you. First off, you need a recorder. And if you're just starting out, I always recommend getting the Zoom H1N. We already made a video about using the Soundman OKM Rock Studio, so please feel free to check it out right there. But now, let's not talk about this more expensive binaural microphone setup. Let's talk about an option that is way cheaper. And these are the Roland CS10EM. I already had them back in 2017 and then I know exactly where I lost them. It was in Long Beach in LA and then I forgot about it. But then, just a couple of weeks ago, I thought I wanna buy them again. So I looked up online and I saw it discontinued, discontinued, discontinued. And if I see this, then I wanted even more. Luckily, there was one available on b and to a cheaper price, but yes, you can still find some of them on Amazon. So make sure if you're interested in them, that you get them before they're completely out of stock. One thing that I never really liked about the Soundman OKM that I have is that I can never monitor and record at the same time, but with the Roland, I can do that. You see, there's a line in and out, so you can actually record and monitor at the same time. That was great. But the problem is that there's no wind protection, right? Indoor, there's no problem, but we don't wanna always record indoor. We also wanna do some recordings outdoor. And then they give you this here, these wind jammers, you know, these foam. But these foams aren't that good. And I always remember you have to clip them here in the back, but then they, they just fly off, it doesn't feel right. And I never really liked that. But then I came across the Rycord overcovers. Now what's included in the box? We have the overcovers or the wind jammers and that's what this video is about because I used super glue and then I just did a little bit left and right and then I pressed it together here around the microphone and now I wanna show you how it looks like really quick. And then you can put it here in your ear and then you have wind protection on your binaural microphone to a very affordable price. I know it doesn't look, you know, pretty. Some people might think you should start cutting your hair in your ears, but if you wanna record audio, you shouldn't care what other people think, just use it and then you can walk around. Imagine you're one of the people who like to record sounds, you know, rain sounds under an umbrella. Then you have the wind protection already coming from the umbrella, but then you have a, another support that protects your binaural microphones from wind. So you can do this with these ones, but you can also do this if you already have the sound mans with the sound man. You know, you can just take off the wind What's it called? The foam. The foam. You can take off the foam very quick. And then here on the back side, make sure that you have put this on the right side. Here it is where the microphone head is. And then you just put a little bit of glue on here. And then you use one of them. I think they come with um, five, if I'm correct. So you can then just place it right here. And then you have it here around the microphone. I don't want to do it right now, but then it looks like this. And that's perfect. That works great. Another thing you should consider is handling noise or the cable noise, right? The thing about if you want to record binaural, especially if it's in ear, you actually shouldn't move around with your hand because you want to have the experience that you just walk straight and then the sound around you you know, moves around your head instead of you moving your head around. If this happens and you have this cable noise, there's a way you can avoid this. So you can use the stickies that come with the Rycord and these stickies work on your clothes and also on your skin. If you use one side and then you think, ah, oh, this side doesn't work anymore, then you can use the other side. But in the film industry, you would just cover a lavalier with it and then you put this on top, you see? So I'm just using it for this example and also when I'm out there recording binaural. So how am I doing this is I put the microphone in my ear, the right side, left, nope, that's the wrong one, always looking left and right. 
that's also great because here on the Roland they actually show you this on the Soundman you have to know what color it is but you know you can just also then you know it right so this fits perfectly just make sure that when you do it that your cable is not too tight and not too long because if it's too long then it hits your body and then you create the noise and we don't want that so what we're doing is we go in a nice level right here moving our head yes that sounds good because it doesn't sound like I don't even have it plugged in but you can already tell this would make noise and we don't want this so what we're doing is we're using the sticky it's good when you have an assistant so this is good let's just do it for the for this example Boop. right here I don't want to take this off because I want to use it and then we have no noise Wow, and then now imagine it would be on the other side, like here. It's perfect. And that's why I love using these kind of things that have actually nothing to do with the idea that I had, but now I'm so excited. And what we're doing is, our next video is Libby actually is going to use this setup and then we're using her new Fuji camera and then we're doing a POV, point of view, street photography, and sound recording video so thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video just in conclusion look for these over covers from rycord and if you want an affordable binaural microphone check out the roland and if you have already the soundman or you don't there is a link in the description down below so thank you so much for watching and i really hope to see you very soon